You are here because you want to create photorealistic images with ChatGPT. Let's get started. To create an image in ChatGPT, I prompt create an image of, I will say a clownfish and hit enter. A few seconds later, I will have my clownfish. This is the first version. I can of course download this by clicking this arrow in the upper right corner. Now you can see it download to my desktop. I can even open it. Now I can use this as presentation emails or other things. But let me close it for now because we're going to edit it. If you click the image like this, this will enlarge it. In the lower right corner, we can edit it with our words. And up here, try to click this I. This is the prompt that OpenAI used on top of our simple prompt. They do this to add more details, which result in higher quality photos. So let us just click copy here. We have this prompt in our clipboard. We will use it in a little while. Similarly, I can download the image from in here. But if I click this select tool, now I can select things in the image. I can make this circle smaller or larger, but this is fine. Let's say I want to add another fish. So down here, I want to add a baby clownfish. I mark this with my mouse and now over here, I can prompt this part of the image. So here I say add a baby clownfish and hit enter. There you go. It's that easy to edit your images. Now let's go out. So I'll click this close here and then we will start a new conversation because now I'll say control V to paste in the prompt that OpenAI used before. Then you can see a vibrant clownfish swimming among colorful coral reefs. And let's also add a giant white shark and a giant white shark. We will not edit this prompt further, so I'll just click enter. This is a nice example of how we can use OpenAI's prompts to refine them and make even better results. Here we have it. We have the white shark in the background. A marketing agency wants to create a mood board early in their creative process to gather inspiration for an upcoming campaign. So here I can just say create a mood board or an organic grocery store campaign. And then I want to say many colors. That's just my preference. And here we have the first version of our mood board. I can again click to enlarge it. Photorealistic images. Let's start really simple. So I'll say create a portrait of a middle aged man. I'll hit enter. Then we will build on, we will add some more realistic effects. And here we have it. Not really realistic. It's a nice picture, but we want it to be more realistic. If we want it realistic, don't ever use the word photorealistic. And that's because the DALI model, which ChatGPT uses here, is trained on a lot of images from the web. These images usually have an image and then an image description and real life photographies, they will never carry a description with photorealistic. Those ones with the photorealistic description that will be computer generated images or drawn images very close to reality. So don't ever use that. What we can use instead will be photographic equipment that could be a camera. Or I think that works best is just using a lens. Let me show you. We will create a new prompt here. And then we will say again, create a portrait of a middle aged man. And now comes the magic. I'll say captured as if through an 85 millimeter f slash for 1.4 lens. I'll hit enter. The 85 millimeters, that's the focal length of the lens It's a medium focal length, this and good for portraits. And the f slash 1.4, that is the lens maximums aperture. The lower it is, the wider the opening, the more light enters. It's good for portraits with a blurred background. It's not something that I know a lot of. I just know that this works to generate realistic images. 
already we have a more realistic image than before. We can add more details to our prompt, then we will get a more detailed output. So let me go up here. Let us again say, now I'll say create a compelling portrait of a middle-aged man showcasing the subtle lines of age, the texture of matured skin, and deep eyes that narrate tales of years gone by in high resolution and ambient lighting captured as if true and again 85 millimeters f 0.4 lens i'll hit enter so now we'll have more details we'll have a more detailed image already a lot better now he looks a little bit older still really realistic let's close it and open up a new chat i can choose to change the background and i can add a lot more details so i can craft the image just as i want i just need to formulate it with my own words so here i'll say create a portrait of a middle-aged man sitting in a burger bar as the focal point captured as if true and 85 millimeters f 1.4 lens ensuring depth of field that slightly blurs the background while keeping the man in sharp focus. Again, just add the details that you want. Then you will get images like this, so extremely realistic. I could even add more details, so I can click this one here. Now we will say, um, tell something about the burger bar. Here I'll say the burger bar should be lively and colorful in the background with elements like neon signs, other customers enjoying their meals and classic dinner style decor. So here I just added more details. We will get a more specific background. So we have endless possibilities. You can just play and combine. There's no right or wrong. Just see what works for you, what you like. Pick some lenses, go find a photography website on the homepage um, somewhere, and then you can play around with these images. It's extremely fun and you can really create some really nice things that you can use for, for example, presentations. Now I will close this and create a new conversation. We can also create landscapes. For example, create an image of a tranquil forest scene with a reflection in a calm body of water. We can add some photographic equipment again, captured as if through a 70 millimeters f.16 lens. Hit enter, then a new landscape image will be created. Like here. Really nice. Let's close it and open up a new conversation. When we don't specify a format, most images are in a squared format that is 1024 times 1024. We can easily change that. Here I'll just say create an image of the exterior view of a modern corporate office building aspect ratio 16.9 that will see it's very wide compared to height we can also say 9.16 if we wanted that captured as 
if through a 70 millimeters f16 lens hit enter then we will have a nice wide image here you have that so this one could be used for a home page now let's go create a new chat we can also simulate various artistic styles here in our images first let's start simple create an image of a watermelon hit enter this will be a very simple image here we have it so just a normal watermelon image but we can add a style to it so i can say for example inspired by precisionism click send again then our image will be styled as impressionism here we have it really really nice so now it looks like a real painting let's go close it and open up a new chat it's not allowed to use artist names in the prompts but we can hack this for example let's say create an image of a tiger and then i can say take inspiration from picasso when i send this we will have a i wasn't able to generate the image you requested but if i go up here and edit then i can say please generate as closely to the front as you can without violating policy and then i'll click send that's the way to do it now we have an image inspired by picasso let's open up a new chat we can enhance the images further by adding some photographic effects let's create a baseline image and then we will add the effects to that so i'll say create an image of an arctic fox captured as if true a 500 millimeters f flash 5.6 lens and hit enter here it is a nice realistic image of an arctic fox the first photographic effect we will add is tilt shift that will blur the top and bottom and i will just go up here to the initial prompt hover the mouse over click the pencil and here i will say tilt shift and click send then this updated image will be generated here we have it you can see it's blurred in the top and bottom adds a little bit of movement to our image you can also add the effect called autochrome that will look like it's from the 19th to 1930 um, year we will just go up here edit it and here we will say instead of tilt shift we will say auto chrome hit send to generate the updated image and here we have it you can see now it looks a little bit more old school this uh, little blurry thing all over that is called auto chrome we can also add double exposure that means two images on top of each other so i can hover the mouse over click the pencil you know the drill and and i'll say double exposure hit send and then we will have our double exposure image in two seconds and here it is let me click it we can now see the double exposure effect we have the arctic fox and we have the mountain now you want to jump to the next chat dpt lesson which is right here